Now with Arthur Goldstuck, he's an uh, award-winning writer and technology commentator, joining us live from Johannesburg. Welcome to the programme. What do you, you think uh, is behind uh, Elon Musk's thinking with uh, showing us the Twitter files? What's his ultimate goal here? Elon Musk is really uh, trying to exercise his ego. He wants to show how powerful he is. He also wants to share in that concept that he is privy to deeper information than anyone else. And this feeds into the world of, of misinformation and disinformation, where people fall for conspiracy theories precisely because they want to imagine they have deeper knowledge than anyone else. Mm -hmm. They know how the world really works. And this is exactly the kind of messaging that Elon Musk is pushing out there. When you look at the re so-called revelations that he has made, they're not really revelations at all, so far anyway. He may well yet come up with some amazing uh, revelations, facts and um, accusations. Mm -hmm. But so far, he's just confirming what we already know about how uh, Twitter made its decisions, for example, to suspend the account of uh, Donald Trump, which he has reinstated. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump isn't particularly interested, which is uh, a, a nice irony. But Absolutely. essentially, mm -hmm. uh, Elon Musk is trying to show how powerful he is. And the Twitter files, what could they uncover? How damaging could they be? What, what surprises are you expecting? I believe that we'll see a lot of information that will be claimed by those who are, for example, pushing uh, uh, COVID conspiracy theories mm -hmm. that it will confirm their beliefs. But the reality is mm -hmm. he is just uh, once again sharing a viewpoint and he's casting decision making at Twitter within the context of his uh, viewpoint. And yes, as I say, he may well come up with some alarming information mm -hmm. uh, on the way certain facts may have uh, been suppressed. But when you look at his tweet, for example, about uh, Fauci and yes, the fact that Fauci... Yes, yes, yes. He wants to prosecute, prosecute Dr. Fauci. Yeah, that's, that's uh, purely playing into the hands of the COVID conspiracists of the last five years. The, uh, the Trump followers and their uh, attempt to persecute and prosecute Fauci, he is uh, very much part of that same narrative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's playing to the gallery. He Arthur, is also trying to get a reaction. I just want to ask you, because you know I am a huge Twitter fan. I absolutely love it. How's it going to change in, in the next few uh, weeks, months? I'm addicted to it, but uh, all these things sort of, you know, they, they do scare me and my addiction. I, I enjoy Twitter as well. But the, the reason I enjoy Twitter is that I don't play the Twitter game. I don't engage with the uh, kind of toxicity that Elon Musk seems to relish. Elon Musk must be the, uh, uh, the, the dream of those who are trying to create greater toxicity in the Twitter environment. It's possible to exist in Twitter without engaging at all and without experiencing that or not letting it uh, affect your life. Yeah. But generally speaking, I think in the short term, we will see a lot of chaos. We'll see a lot of uh, misinformation that goes unchecked because there's no one to check it. And uh, Musk himself is the prime misinformation spreader. But then over the, uh, the longer term, we'll see things settle down. We'll see a proper sense of, of balance or at least responsibility emerging as uh, uh, Twitter starts losing even more advertising. Mm -hmm. In fact, advertising is plummeting and uh, the business is facing potential bankruptcy on paper. Oh. In reality, Musk will bail it out. But if he wants it to be a viable business like mm -hmm. his other businesses, he's going to have to run it as a responsibly run business okay. as well. Arthur, so many interesting points that you've made there, Arthur. Gold Stucker, an award-winning writer and technology commentator, live there from Johannesburg. Really appreciate your analysis and time. Thank you. Thank you.